Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be competing with Game of Mate in a whole game challenge to make the best game in an hour. Both of us will be uploading our own videos of our own perspectives on the challenge, so if you want to check out Ruby's perspective, I'll leave a link in the description. Now let's get started by starting our timer. 3, 2, 1. Go. First, I wanted to start off by making my starter character. I took some clothes and face from the toolbox and customized the rig. Then, I put it in starter player completed. After that, I wanted to change the lighting a bit, and then I added an auto rig. This was going to be the rig I used to make the killer. I was too lazy to make an AI script, so I just stole one from my older game. Um, and then, I started working on a run animation for my killer. Here it is. <laughs> oh my god. Then after that, I made an idle animation, and I was good to go. And here's the game so far. Pretty boring and bland, but I'll fix that in a moment. Then I pretty much spent half an hour working on a house. Not my best decision. I decided I need to increase the spook factor, so I looked up some sound effects in the toolbox. I really do hope this isn't copyrighted, because it sounds like it came out of another game. Then I added music around the killer to know when you're near him or not. And now, here's the game so far. At this point, a lot of time was running out, so I panicked. I erased the player's footsteps and jumping sounds to make it scalier, and added my own footsteps. After this, I really had no idea what else to do, so I started placing free models everywhere. <laughs> Listen, I had no time. And just like that, it was done. Even though I made barely any progress, it was still really fun to work on this. If you want to see my game in action, head over to Game of Mage's channel and check the video out. But now I'll be reviewing Ruby's game. And that was the one hour horror game challenge with Game of Me. I had a ton of fun doing this and I hope everyone watching liked it as well. Like I said before, if you want to see Ruby's perspective on the challenge, I'll leave a link below. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!